We've invited some of today's hottest style influencers and industry experts to join us for a casual conversation about beauty, relationships, lifestyle, and everything that inspires us as we get close up and personal. Our special guests today are jewelry designer Jacqueline Nicole Brown and actress blogger Amber Stevens. You guys work together as business partners on a jewelry line. So how did you get into fashion? Um, it was always something I've always been interested in. You know, my mother is like the best dressed lady in town. She wears like the brightest colors and she's hilarious. So That's I've so always fun. had, you know, I've always noticed fashion. I still have a lot to learn. I'm not like you guys who like know everything. But um, but Jackie kind of approached me when she was designing and asked if I would be interested in designing with her and just collaborating together. Because I was over all the time being like, girl, that's cute. This is not cute. Try that. Yeah. She's like, why don't we just make or something just together? she's looking so fierce, like her fabulous self. And I'm like, what do you have on? Like, help me, you know? <laughs> and she's always helping our friends. Like, that's what she does is she'll like, hey, you need like new hair. And she'll like take our friend to the go get hair. I'm like, girl, you need a weave. Come with me. <laughs> Can I we just get, you let's get two tracks in the yes, back, right? one on the front. Front, it's all okay. Good. Yes. That's what she does. No, she does that with all of her friends. Wrap and scarf. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> she changes people's lives. I swear. She's like, girl, you need to do this. You need to do that. No, no, no. Or she'll tell me, Jackie, uh-uh, that does not look good. <laughs> like, what are you doing? She's like my sister, literally. I mean, being a good designer doesn't necessarily mean that you have good style, right? It means like you know what other people would want. I've battled with this a lot because it's like, as a designer, I think that you should be designing pieces that you like specifically. And then at times I get, you know, I get like in a block and I'm like, well, maybe I need to design and change it so that I can attract a different audience. Then I realize that doesn't really work for me. So I have to design what's most successful is when I design pieces that I would wear and I'll wear all the time. And then that's what people love. People are buying Amber stuff because they want her style. People right. buy my stuff because they want my style. They want my look. They want my designs. And I've tried to stay trendy and I've tried to do it. But then I realize those pieces aren't selling because it's not what I would want, you know? Right. We brought all of our little pieces that we want to share with you guys. And okay. I think you guys brought some too, right? <laughs> We brought yes. the okay. jewelry. So basically, yeah. um, I'll start off, I guess. Okay, show me. Oh, this is from Guatemala. I picked up this jewelry piece from one of the street vendors. These were actually all filled up, mm -hmm. all these little empty spaces, but it ended up falling out because I guess it was cheap. You would never but, know, though. No, but then I kind of love it because of that. Put it on. Yeah. Let me see like how it falls. <laughs> oh, that right. is sick, it's, man. That's gorgeous. <laughs> My turn? Exactly. Yes. Mine is very sentimental. No, I'm just Mine is not at all. Um, it's just my favorite one. And it's so funny because it's like the only piece of jewelry that I have that I really don't wear that much. But it's like the one that I like to show everyone. Oh, uh, Kamaru boy. Oh, that is hot. Yeah, very Rihanna. Ooh, that's, that's so, so cute. Hot. See, this is cool. I'm that into this That is really cool. Yeah. See, that's the kind of thing I need to find because I always notice that like Rihanna and Beyonce and stuff, they wear this like body jewelry, mm -hmm. but like at the beach. Party armor. Because I always feel like it's so fierce when women wear wear jewelry on the beach, but it's like kind of impractical if you're going yeah. in the water. But something like that, it's like, it's not gonna fall off. You're not gonna lose it. <laughs> only certain people. I don't think everybody can pull this off. That's my opinion. I only think like if you're Beyonce or like- Or Andrea. Or Andrea. Or Andrea. Or Andrea. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, I'm one of those people. If I think it's cool, I'm well, just you like- Yeah, that. me too. I want it. Yeah, I Pimpy. love it. I, I love just that. leave it on, just, I think. Just leave I it on. Work leave it. this on. I actually made this and now I make it in a ring and sell it. This is my great grandmother's. It was like one of my inheritance spaces, but she's still alive. She's 90, she's turning 98. She's like that is super beautiful. fierce and it's amazing. What inspired me kind of also in addition when I started like being really into jewelry because- Is it a gold? Yeah, it's all gold. It's, it's amazing. Can I have With it? rubies? Right, yeah. Can those I, rubies? Can I have it? I, well, <laughs> yeah, so I so now make horrible. it in like a less expensive version. Okay, Amber, all right. so what do you have for us? Okay, so mine is something that I found at a vintage shop. So Ooh, my statement cool. necklace thing that I love. Um, I love wearing gold. Gold jewelry looks much better on me than any other color. I just thought this was really cool. It's kind of like African inspired vintage mm -hmm. piece. Um, it really like funks up any outfit. I could wear it like with a, a little girly dress and it just like kind of makes it cool. So it's just something that I love that I found and again, not very expensive, but um, I get a lot of compliments. Yeah. Amazing. David? Well, I don't have like a big substantial piece like you guys. I have, I have okay, but I, have, I do have a funny story. Okay, so my 
substantial piece <laughs> is is this bracelet, okay? Of Jesus. And, <laughs> hey, cool. I love it. High but five on that. It's not only Jesus, but it's Jesus and friends. And it has like everybody that you need to kind of like keep yourself Aww. like, you know, Aww. keep yourself together. But the funny story is, I, I bought it in Los Cajones, in the alleys downtown, oh, and, sure. and they were like 99 cents. As soon as it gets wet, like the plastic, their little plastic stickers on this wood, they start popping <laughs> off, right? Aww. So when I was in hair school, my friend, she was like superstitious. She's like, oh my God, you know what that means? She's like, it's like chupacabra. She's like, <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, she, she's like, the santo, he's falling off. And I was like, they don't want yeah. to protect so you. So I freaked out and I bought a hunt, like, like a bunch of like 50 of them because they're only 99 cents. So every day I went to school, I had a new one. So she couldn't, <laughs> she couldn't <laughs> pop me off. Right. Yeah, the chupacabra yeah, is gonna she's like, come. Chupacabra, that's, that's bad luck. That's bad luck, but yeah. Well, thanks ladies, it was so much fun. Oh, thanks yes, for having us, it was so awesome. I know, so I was like, it was like, yeah. Uh, we need to eat something before we leave. Oh yeah, foodies, oh, yeah. do you want to start? I want to eat that green macaroni.